Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. I'm giving this, uh, Jason is interested in this uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. So I've kind of given it the once over. I've test driven it. Everything works well. Uh, it has these insanely large uh, tires on it that need to go. I mean, it's just it's just overkill on these tires. The seller does say he has the original rims left, and and I would definitely put those on. Do an oil check here. I'm going to set the camera down. Trying to find the hole, love. You can find the hole. Need to back up. Need to back up. Can't find the hole for the dipstick. Okay. Here. This one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. If I will, I will uh, change oil if you want. Does it use very much oil? Yeah, yeah. Uses oh, a little I'll bit. Very tiny. Now give me some kind of a wipe. Oh, okay. Whip wipe. Or your shirt. Your shirt will do. Oh, just you my panty. <laughs> Brian, yeah, the oil's dirty, but it's always dirty in a diesel. <laughs> It's dirty after a few hours in a diesel. Wipe your hand first. You have more. The air works well. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no water leaks. I'm going to let it cool off just a minute, and then I'm going to pop that radiator cap. Why don't you put that car here in the shed? Well, because there, well, there was no shed. There's shed there, off? Oh. Uh. Hey, come on, let's come on. I will wipe your hand. You will wipe my hand? Jason asked if it's a four cylinder or six cylinder. It's four. What is cylinder? Uh, don't, don't, please. Pistons. Don't wipe this to your shorts. Don't wipe to my shorts? It's a city. Okay, boss. Oh, I, to, I just told you. What? I didn't wipe to my shorts. What are you talking about? Well, it is a pretty good looking rig. As far as I can tell, it's mechanically sound. It doesn't uh, need these big tires on it that's hard on the front end. The four wheel drive does work. The air works. All the gauges work except for the tack. As I understand it, the price on this is 250,000 peso, which I would consider uh, fair. Uh, it's got 210,000 kilometers on it. I did look in the rearview mirror. In the rearview mirror, I did a couple uh, low RPM open throttle tests. It does smoke. Uh, it's definitely not a brand new engine. It's got 210,000 kilometers on it, which is about oh, I don't know what is that, 150,000 miles. For a diesel, that's not that much if it's been uh, reasonably maintained. Yeah, the interior is okay. As I said, the air does work. I didn't test the radio because I'm not a big radio fan. I have no idea whether or not the sunroof works. It does have a sunroof. It's four passenger. Uh, did test the windows. They It has power windows. And uh, as far as I can tell, all of them need to, be, need to have the motors replaced. Uh, they do work uh, if you manually assist them. Uh, they're just worn out. One thing I haven't checked is the year. What year is this, Abraham? 1980. 
Just 1980s? 80 something? Something. Well, let me look in the door here and see if I can find it. Uh, no, it's been repainted. So there's no there's no door panel unless it's hidden somewhere else. Usually they're in the door. Well, I wonder if it's in the seat belt. Oftentimes you can find a manufacturer date on the seat belt. But you can't on this one because it's all enclosed. I'll see if there's a plate on the other door and if there's not then I'll look in the engine compartment. No, I think it's been re repainted at some point. You know, there is a plate there. It's a 2.446 liter. So it's a, uh, probably what they would call a 2.5 liter. And I don't see, I don't see a date of manufacture. No. It's got a frame. It, it has all the pertinent information on this plate except for a year. Uh, the owner says it's 80s. I don't think it's a big uh, it's a big issue here. He did say it's the original engine. It has been uh, fairly well taken care of. Uh, it still looks good. I would imagine when this came over on the boat, it was redone because all this was painted in here, repainted. It does have brake problems, uh, vacuum assist. I would imagine uh, it needs a it needs the booster replaced. That's the vacuum assist right there. I don't see any obvious dam damage. To the hoses so it's probably this unit here which are impossible to find here maybe in Tagbalar and maybe in Cebu there's still a lot of pressure in there I'm not gonna pop that cap well uh, there's no there's no sign of water in the oil so I'm assuming the head gasket is good I drove it for about 10 minutes pushed it a little bit uh, the temperature gauge never moved. Uh, I would like to pop that radiator cap, but this guy probably wants to go do other things. It'd probably have to wait 30 minutes for it to cool down enough to uh, check. And if you feel like it feels like hanging around that long, then I'll do that. Take the radiator cap off and then start it. Check for bubbles. Uh, check for fluid expulsion. But all in all, I think for 250,000 pesos, it's a it's a good enough deal. That's what it sounds like running. Yeah, 250,000 pesos. Being at this Toyota. It's a Toyota Land Cruiser. I mean, you know, if it was some other brand, I would, I would be a little hesitant. But it's a Toyota Land Cruiser. I mean, these things are, they were made for the Philippines. I just rough roads and and being used rough is what they were made for. Especially in this era. I don't know how they, I don't know how the new ones are. They're probably more like a car than they are a truck, but. Uh, Yeah, it sounds, it just sounds sweet. So I'm advising uh, Jason to go ahead and, and pull the trigger on it and go ahead and buy it. I'm tired of standing in the sun. I'm gonna go get some water and take a break. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.